always great chatting to my next guest, Jamal Hill, who's back in action. Huge fight coming up here. UFC fight night, February 19th against Johnny Walker. Jamal, how's it going, man? What's going on, James? How you doing, brother? Doing well. Tell me how this fight came together, because I was seeing some, you know, chatter on social media. And, you know, obviously, if you play sort of the process of elimination with the the rankings and everything, it seemed like this was a fight that was going to happen. From your standpoint, how did this come together? Um, asking you shall receive, I guess. That's yeah, what you I just asked for. Put it out there? They called. They called. Call, they called me. Uh, they called me and asked me if I wanted it. And uh, you know, once we open your mouth, you say you want something off top. Yeah, yeah, there, you go. yeah there you go. It's amazing what happens when you ask for things. Sometimes it actually happens, right? So it worked out well. Except for more money. The yeah, that, that too. Yeah, that, that's always an issue. Even even in my line of work too. There you go. So it definitely happens. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you, you know, obviously this fight was booked a, a while ago. Um, were, were there ever any talks of you stepping in to fight Rakic? Because obviously that main event's off in March. I don't know if you were contacted or not. I was just curious about that. No, they never did. No, they didn't ask me that. Okay, no worries. That makes sense. Uh, let's talk about that last fight, man. Jimmy Crute, 48 seconds. Uh, I mean, you. we talked before that one. How, how uh, happy were you with that uh, performance, especially getting it done so quickly? Uh, I'm most happy with it. It was good. Uh, it was a good way to get back in the win column, a good way to get back on track and um, just remind people of who and what I am. Did, did it fuel you a bit just because, you know, Jimmy Crute's got a pretty big fan base. I saw a lot of people counting you out in that one, and uh, you went out there and, and silenced a lot of people. Did that add a little bit more to, to the win? It, just made it, a, it did make it a little bit sweeter. Uh, just like, I don't even think, I'm not even going to say it was just so much as people hating. It's just the fact of just the doubt and the disbelief. Like, you know, um, it's, a, it's a funny business. It's the what have, you ha- what have you done for me lately business. You know, um, whenever you take a loss, you um they can't see you they can't see you winning and then whenever you win they can't see you losing it's a it's a crazy yeah. thing what was the feedback like after that win because i remember when that happened everyone was going nuts i saw the clip everywhere uh, did you find that was maybe bigger than some of your other finishes as far as the, the feedback you got um it was it was um Personally, for me, the level of the guy that I fought, that I finished, uh, that was that made it bigger. But I think honestly, um, I probably got more. I got more love from 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 the uh, OSP from finishing OSP. Uh, okay, makes sense. Yeah, he's a little so, bit more notable, I guess. But yeah, that that, that makes sense for sure. Are you expecting to see the, the the normal Johnny Walker in this fight? Are you expecting to see the Walker that fought kind of a you know little unentertaining fight he had against Thiago Santos? I mean that that's I think one of the questions going in here. What Johnny Walker are we going to see? What are you expecting? Um, I'm expecting. I don't know, man. Honestly, <laughs> he um he can come in. I know there's only a couple ways. There's only one of two ways he's going to come in. He's going to come in wild and crazy, or he's going to come in trying to cal- trying to be calculated and. You know, try to try to set things up. So, you know, those are the two things I'm preparing for for whatever. I'm preparing for everything. So it's not like oh, he's gonna do it because I'm not in this camp. I don't know what he's gonna do. You know, I'm not. I don't know what he's what uh what they're working on or what they see, what they think they see, what holes they think they see or whatever. You know, so um, I'm preparing for everything. Yeah, you've kind of always been that way in your career, anyways. Not necessarily focus on the opponent. Focus on what you're good at and just you know use that to your ability, right? Yeah, just um, just just being the best that I can be, being ready to take it, take advantage of everything when it, as it comes. You know, if I'm sharp everywhere and I'm ready to be the best wrestler, or I'm ready to be the best boxer, or the best kickboxer, or whatever in the moments that I need them, because that's why it's mixed martial arts. It's mixed up. You you know, you got to pull these tricks out on a moment's notice. So I'm gonna make sure I have them all sharp. Yeah, no, I'm with you there. Anything different for this training camp, or is it just business as usual, training with the same guys? Yeah, same same business as usual. Yeah, I was um, going to say, if you're coming off a quick win, why change anything, right? I mean, it obviously, it's working. Yeah, I mean, shit, not even just the, just that one win. You know, it's just what's, what's, what's been working for me the whole time, you know. Um, I had a hiccup, you know. Um, that doesn't mean I throw, abandoned everything that's been working for the last 12 years, you know, so. Yeah, no, that makes yeah. sense. Training partners, uh, usual cast of characters, uh, Brett Martin. Who who else are you getting to work with? Oh yeah, just the same guys. Uh, you know, um, Brett just had a kid. You know, and uh, he's got he's, he's had his family things. He's getting back in. Uh, he's got a he's got a fight coming up. 
Well, oh, they uh, announced it today. He's with PFL, right? I saw that. I, I think that's right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, good for him, exactly. man. I'm excited to see what he can do there because you, you and I both know. I mean, a lot of people, you know, in the know know about what what's about to happen this year when the big dogs come in to uh, to fight on on the big stage. I can't wait, man. It's going to be awesome. You must be so happy for him too. Yeah, I am, bro. I've been, I've been, you know me. I've been clamoring for this for 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 a while now, you know. And uh, I'm happy he landed. He landed with a solid promotion that you know uh, you got to win. You got a chance to win a million bucks every year, you know. Yeah. Um, that's good. That's what, I mean. That's what that's what we in it for. We in it to, to take, make money and take care of our families, and um, definitely, I'm happy for my brother to be able to do that. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, and as far as uh, you know, weight cut and all that stuff, is it just sort of the same thing there? Nothing different for this uh, this camp. Nah, it ain't nothing different for me. I'm working. Yeah, just putting the time in. Do you have to diet much? I was trying to ask you there. Do you have like meal prep, or you just sort of kind of eat your eat your own sort of way? When it comes to eating, and nah, all. nah, I, I diet. <clears throat> I got meal prep. I got, I got uh, specific things that I uh, that I eat that I know, you know, get me where I need to be. Is that through the UFC or is that just your own meal prep that you have? Oh, meal prep. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, who's gonna be in your corner for this fight? Same guys, same guys. I'm a, uh, it's actually my son's birthday a couple days after my fight, so I'm gonna bring him out there with me. So I'm gonna have oh, my son that's with- cool, man. Is that has he come out before? I was trying to remember. Nah, my son hasn't been out. It's gonna be his first time out checking out, seeing what dad does. He's gonna be twelve, so you know he's old enough to experience it and like understand what's going on and everything. So I figure it's a good time to get him out. What was it? What was his reaction when you told him that? Because I, I could only imagine as a twelve year old hearing that you're gonna get to go see dad at work, and your dad's job happens to be trying to <laughs> beat the, the crap out of someone else, right? And I saw out in Vegas, all he heard was, "Oh, we're going to Vegas." <laughs> yeah, that's probably more of a big deal to him than you fighting. You know, so that's hilarious. But that's cool, man. Well, what does that mean, though? You know, as a father, to, to get to share that moment with your son, you know, especially a big fight like this one, too. Like I mentioned, Walker, a pretty notable guy. Like this is a this is a really big opportunity for you here. Um, it's huge. You know, um, I feel like I'm getting I'm getting to a point where now, like the fights that I'm doing and the things that I'm doing is actually part of being submitted and part of the history of this sport. You know, and uh, that's definitely something I want to experience with my son, and like you know, what I mean, get him. Have him in those moments and see those things and see his dad accomplish things that he's that I've sat and dreamed and talked about and you know and uh, see everything come into fruition to be there to feel the energy of it and feel every the moment and all of that. Um, I believe that's something that he'll appreciate, something he'll hold on to, and can ultimately help him whenever he decides what he wants to do, whatever it is that he wants to do. You know. For sure. How do you see this fight playing out on February nineteenth? How do you envision the fight going down? dominantly for me um i'm coming in i'm coming in the same as same as always but uh just even more laser focus um like like even like now like honestly like before you know i i, I like to um you know i wanted to i understand now i am a show period i am a show what i can do is 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 is, is not normal um some of the things uh, i mean and it's, it's very show uh, show worthy so just stick to that and go in and just be myself. And um, yeah, I'm, 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 I know what I can do. The title fight in your weight class, uh, May 7th, it's going to be Yuri Prohaska against Glover to share. Before we talk about that fight, what do you make of Yuri Prohaska training with John Jones and Henry Cejudo at Fight Ready to, I guess, work on his wrestling? I think it's good, bro. I mean, he's he he he's he sees where he sees where he needs to improve and where he wants the improvement. And he sees the type of improvement he wants by going and picking those guys to go and train with because those motherfuckers are grind they grind and they're gonna put you through the grinder um i think it's gonna be it just makes them a more dangerous and scarier opponent you know um for some and yeah i think it's a good move do you think he beats do you think he beats glover though that's the question a lot of guys thought they were going to be glover they end up uh not getting it done because glover's you know he's he's glover right he gets it done Uh, do you you think yuri can can be the recipe to defeat this guy all right so here's the thing that i see here's the thing that the difference that i see as far as yuri goes yuri whenever yuri's hitting you like like yeah like to like i said santos landed power a power shot on glover but santos isn't good at chaining up after that you know what i'm saying he lands that bump, that bang that big power shot that shit don't completely clear your senses you know what i mean even when they do he rushes in like a bull it's untechnical it's out of position and then it's just oh 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 bang 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 just try to hurry up and make him make carl's enough chaos to where it looks bad enough to where they stop it is he actually damaging them while he's going in for the finish no you know what i'm saying so there's a um there's there's just that little 
that little accuracy and that little damage. If I feel if Yuri hits hits you clean and he hurts you, he stays in it. He stays in it, and he stays into that rain. He'll, he'll, he knows that, all right, follow, stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. You know what I'm saying? That can be a problem for Glover, especially how early he gets hit and how hard, like, especially how early he gets hit. Sometimes he's gotten clipped early to where dude still has a full tank. You know what I'm saying? And some dudes just don't know how to use it. I believe I don't believe that's a problem. I don't believe that's the case for Yuri. You know what I mean? Or that's not even how you say his name, dude. Like somebody just told me how to say his name, and I I, I try to say people's name because right? I don't have people say my name wrong my whole life. But that's not even how you say his name. I just I forget how you even say his name completely. But yeah, he um Jitty or Jitty or something like that. Hitty or Jitty, Jitty Prohaska oh. or something like that. That's interesting. I've, I've interviewed him and called him Yuri a bunch of times. He's never corrected me, so I don't know. He's not gonna correct people. You got to think the whole world's calling him that. He's yeah, that's true. He's probably like, yeah, world. enough's enough. It's like, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you fair know what enough. I mean? But yeah, but yeah. So, I who, think, so who, uh, who, who are you picking in that Glover, one? I think if Glover gets a hold of him early, gets a hold of him and gets him down, I think that's a problem. I, I just don't know, bro. It's just too many question marks. That's another part of the thing we haven't seen enough from from Yard. But I will go with Glover. Fuck it. I'm gonna go with Glover. No, I, I completely get it. Yeah, no, oh, I completely oh, get it. But I know. Uh, two more quick questions. Did you hear Jake Paul's diss track to Dana White? And if so, what did you think? I actually did. He was actually snap. He actually had some bars in there. Yeah, I actually, I heard. I think I did hear that. Yeah, he was actually he was snapping. He was, he was snapping in it. He had some bars. Here's but the thing with Jake Paul that like I think people don't maybe give him enough credit for. Like he's a smart business. Like he everything he does, smart. he's smart about right. it, right? Like whether it's boxing Woodley or it's you know making a track like this or talking about fighter pay, all these things. Like he's very strategic in what he does, and I think he deserves credit for that for sure. Yeah, for sure. You got to think he kind of burned at the uh, burned that the uh, MMA community. Like oh, I knocked out one of your champions. We were enough to get him all in the uproar. And then it's like, wait a minute, I want you guys to get paid more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know what I mean? He played. He played. He, I think he played that pretty pretty smooth and everything like that but oh uh, yeah he's not a he's not wrong <laughs> but yeah. he's not like you know what i mean yeah no no I, I agree with what you say there okay last question kamar usman did you hear about this he apparently was trying to fight jan blahovich when he was champion now kamar usman is a welterweight i know he probably doesn't walk around at that but what did you think of that moving up two weight classes to take on polish power jan blahovich it seems like you're picking and choosing where you want to fight, picking and choosing what, what, what champion you want to fight. You're skipping over a whole weight class just because it's your boy and shit, which is cool. I get it. But I don't know. What am I supposed to think about it? I mean, well, no, like, I'm just curious because, small. like, you know, we for example, we saw Adesanya no, not, move like, up. Don't get me wrong. He's, yeah. He walks around like welterweight. He's a big dude. But for 205, he's, he's fucking, he's tiny. He's not, he's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I was just curious well, as someone who does fight in that way. Anybody class, that feel like you know? they want to come play with the big boys, come on in. <laughs> exactly. The last time we had our interview, um, we were talking about Paulo Costa and how he, you know, didn't want to fight Vittori at, you know, uh, 185. And then they had the fight at 205. And I remember you were like, hey, I'll fight Paulo Costa. It's no big deal. But apparently now he's going to 85. So I, I don't know what you make of that. I don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it is what but it is. That would have been a just, fun fight if that would have come together. It would have been. It would have been. Yeah. Me and me and Paulo Costa would have been a great fight. Um yeah. You know what I mean? He comes in, he throws, he throws, and he gets down. He's a prize. You know what I mean? He's a top. He's a top fighter. He, he pays pay like a prize fighter. I want to get paid like a prize fighter. How do you get paid like a prize fighter? Beat, beat prize fighters. You know. Yeah. And um, if they all right with him steady, not making weight and shit, and him, you know what I mean? Like all of that. It is what it is, bro. That ain't my business. I got some. I got my own other shit that I'm focused on. You know. Uh, I agree. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too hung on it. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because at the end of the day, either you, want, either you want either you want it or you don't. And uh, that takes place February 19th, UFC Fight Night. Jamal, always appreciate the time, man. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, anything like that, I'll give you the last word. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to all uh, the Sweet Dreams Nation. You know, uh, my sponsors over at Next Day Construction, uh, Lizard Lake Apparel, um, if y'all if y'all want to get a hold of some Sweet Dreams gear, actually, too, you go uh, you can you can get a hold of that at uh, SweetDreamsNation.co. That's just C O at the end. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Sweet underscore Dreams underscore J Hill and uh, Jamal H on Twitter. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to stay up to date on everything. You know, um, try to interact with my fans, try to have fun. You know, just. I don't know. I just like I'm just I'm just enjoying life, enjoying the position that I'm in, and everything that come with it. 